I am totally getting on this escalator and going up. Yeah, I need to watch where I'm going, but you guys should see this view of Atlanta from that window over there. I'm Maya Sendermeyer, and I would like to welcome you to the latest episode of my vlog series. So far, I have been able to share my experiences on what it's like to live on the autistic spectrum, or rather have Asperger's syndrome. A second thing that I will do is provide uh, my two cents on uh, what's going on with autism in the media, and a third area entails uh, providing tips and advice. For those of you who are on the spectrum, I will also reach out to your friends, family members, peers, mentors, educators, employers, and anybody who is inside the autistic community. And finally, I will cover topics on things that I'm passionate about, along with sharing the day in the life of Maya Sendermeyer. So check it out. I can't believe this. This is only February and it is uh, in the 60s and I have no jacket on and there are already flowers starting to bloom. There are blossoms on the trees down here. Meanwhile, there are parts of the United States that are still in a deep freeze. But uh, to me, this doesn't feel like winter. I feel like uh, it's already springtime down here in Atlanta. <laughs> uh, to be honest with you, this is one of the main reasons why I wanted to move down here to um, the ATL in the first place. And perhaps that's because uh, there's something about me uh, being here that felt right. And I came down here twice. Once was in 1996, which was before the uh, Summer Olympics. And uh, that was before I moved in with my aunt for a while. And uh, she drove us around the city and uh, knew a lot of information. Like she knew about some really cool things. Like she knew about this uh, crummy science museum called Sidetrack that was trying to compete with another a museum of natural history, which is called Fernbank. Uh, Sidetrack had just opened. Uh, she also told me about uh, the first, told my family and I about the first uh, restaurant that uh, revolves on the top of a hotel. And I was fascinated by that, uh, or by those kind of mechanics, because I didn't think you could put a restaurant on a moving turntable with all kinds of machinery underneath. Whoever thought of that idea would be pure genius. Uh, and the second time I came down, I, uh, I stayed with her for overnight in Atlanta, flew down for the first time in the year 2000. Uh, and it looks like my bus is here, but basically I flew down here in the year 2000 and then we went to Disney World, but both times I came down here to Atlanta, uh, there was something that felt right about me being here uh, in the uh, this big city and I liked it better than the Minneapolis-St. Paul area. area. say that makes sense because uh, anybody who smokes can create a, a dangerous sound for other people. Uh, people who smoke in, right in front of you are just so inconsiderate because uh, that creates a secondhand smoke. So I'm really glad that uh, Marta is putting that out there and especially when you're that close to the buses. Another reason why you don't want to smoke is because uh, 
I don't know how many pound, gallons of diesel fuel uh, go into those buses, but they're that close to anybody smoking and uh, if a little bit of gas, a uh, little bit of diesel fuel uh, leaks and somebody's smoking and they drop their cigarette, boom! Okay, over here. You know, there are times like this when I get really sick of uh, riding a public transportation or rather uh, having that being my only way of getting around because number one, it's very limiting. And number two, everything's on a fixed schedule. And number three, the buses get incredibly crowded. Uh, I would like to share with you um, my experiences of uh, driving and all that, but it's uh, probably best if I save that for another vlog, but Sometimes I just wish I had a car and even if um, it was a, a bicycle, I just wing it all the way. Other times um, I wish that the uh, self-driving vehicles were here now because yes, I could park at a train station and um, I could get on the train and go where I need to go in Atlanta, downtown Georgia State University. But so far, that's a really slow process. Uh, the other reason why I want that so bad, uh, a self-driving vehicle, is because for once, I'd like to uh, get myself out of Atlanta. Uh, maybe go for a drive down to Macon, or go for a drive but down to Tipton, or Valdosta, or Columbus. Even if I need to spend time alone, just get away. and. So far, I have to take uh, the Greyhound to get around, and uh, those aren't private. Other times, I have to uh, carpool with people to go to get to where I'm going, and half of those destinations get really expensive. I'm just gonna kick back and uh, listen to some music for a little while. And, um, get ready to head back to the Tucker area. Right now I'm in a area called uh, Evandale and that's about 30 minutes away uh, because I'm on transportation.